Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. I am Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon Friday, so nothing to see. Uh, we got minimal sunspot activity on this side of the sun, but a big one erupted just over the limb. And uh, we could see the upper energy from it. Now it is beginning to rotate into view. So in the next couple weeks, we could see some more geomagnetic activity. Looking at drought conditions, this is slightly older data. So things got a touch worse, but that is going to turn around next week dramatically. Looking nationally, things got better in a lot of spots in the Great Plains, and we're going to see more relief there too. So all good news. Uh, drought apparently is going on in Mexico, and there's some dry spots in the Pacific Northwest, which I guess I find that hard to believe, and there is smoke coming up into the western atmosphere. So we have minimal smoke level right now, but you might see some haze if more of this gets in here. Taking a look at the snowpack for the winter, and it, it's plunging rapidly as temperatures warm, we're starting to see uh, just about 80s down here on the I-25 area, but uh, it normally plunges very quickly. So we're still at 138 percent snowpack statewide. Now we have about five uh, Coco Ross rain gauge maps showing all the tremendous amount of water we got uh, just since last time. So this is about the Thursday morning, 7 a.m. So it pulls in the uh, Wednesday precipitation. So two thirds of an inch around Longmont. A little bit more in Boulder, two inches on Longmont on Friday morning, up to Friday morning, and then an inch and a half to two inches south side Boulder. Uh, Longmont got uh, just about a tenth of an inch on Saturday, got a little bit more, a couple tenths of an inch or so in places in Boulder. Uh, up to Sunday morning, another tenth of an inch, we got about an inch in places in Boulder. Um, just a little bit less than a tenth of an inch on Monday, another inch and a half or so around Boulder. Uh, by Wednesday morning, another tenth there, traces down in Boulder. Just a lot of water this week, and this map shows graphically where it all hit. So the oranges, yellows and oranges, are two to four inches, so a vast area from Fort Collins to far below Colorado Springs. But that bullseye area of red and dark red that takes you up to eight inches. Um, just an amazing amount of water. Looking at our severe weather climatology, going to first week, second week, and third week of May, the chances of severe weather are definitely here. And we have some out on the Eastern Plains on Wednesday. Originally it was drawn along the I-25 corridor and now it looks like some dry air is, is in place. And yeah, not so much, but we could get wandering thunderstorms. You might see peat and nickel size hail, which isn't quite severe. For Thursday, it's back down here in the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area. And then severe weather down through Texas into Ar um, Arkansas. Get my states right. All right, looking at the national map forecast for Wednesday, general chance of showers in most places in the west, higher elevation mountains get snow. We have a chance of very intense rain right here, and that is right where the worst drought is. So we are seeing good relief. We do have a cold front coming down Thursday. It's going to be south of the state on Friday. Some lingering upslope showers behind it. Over the next 10 days, we're going from 72 to 75 for our normal temperature, 43 to 46 for the normal low, and the temperatures are kind of bouncing around in there. We have a cool period at the end of the week. We kind of hover in the lower region here, but that's also the wettest portion. But you can see every afternoon a chance of thunderstorms with all the moisture present. Here's another way to look at that moisture. This is the water vapor satellite image. We've got some real dry stuff on the ocean here, and real dry air over in Ohio to Pennsylvania, and like that. But the west is doing great. <coughs> so the only notable storm I want to focus in on is this Thursday p.m. Friday uh, rain chance. We have a trough sweeping in from the north, and we have the low up here in the Great Lakes. Warm front out ahead, cold front coming way back down the plains. And that's where the showers are. We have upslope behind the front for Thursday p.m. Friday. 
So over the next 10 days, let's watch that trough swing by. There's Thursday into Friday. There is a big ridge in the west. You can see that uh, it kind of anchors in and, and stays persistent as we go from Sunday into Monday. Here comes the trough in the uh, north of us, but it's not doing much, kind of cutting off and sending a trough down the west coast. So we're on the up slope side of a big trough now. By the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday next week, that low is just spinning over there. Taking a look at temperatures, whenever you see the uh, cauliflower purple, that's a bunch of right there, thunderstorms dropping cool air. So there comes the front. You can see the showers and cloudiness behind that. And that cool air does settle down to the southeast U.S. and southern states. There's more thunderstorms in the west. And the heat under the ridge tries to get going, but you know, thunderstorms cool everything off in the afternoon. So we're out to Wednesday, Thursday, more thunderstorms general background of warm temperatures until you get to the afternoon early evening so the temperatures don't matter as much the temperature map doesn't tell us things uh, like it does in the winter with cold fronts but the this uh, precipitatable water map animation does show you how much water is available in the air to be acted upon with the heat with the thunderstorms initiating uh, midday and then moving out onto the plains if other things don't get in the way. The moisture is there. Here we are into Wednesday. There is a generally just above normal amounts of atmospheric moisture most of the time. There's a desert southwest getting dry, but we still have some in the Rockies and eastern side of the mountains. Dew points are surface moisture. This is what you need for uh, the thunderstorms and rain, and that's above average or to be in the 40s and eventually even have 50s sneak into the plains. That's where you, um, if you get enough cold air aloft and get your severe weather chances, hail, tornadoes, and things like that. Winds have to be correct for the tornadoes as well, but there, there you go. 50, 60 dew points right out on the Kansas border. That's moist. So let's take a look at, there's the thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon. Wednesday, <coughs> there's Thursday, some stronger storms to our southeast, and then into the weekend, we get a little bit of a break. Mountains are getting some afternoon thunderstorms and showers. There's another on Sunday, and another coming out on the plains on Monday night, and Tuesday, a little more organized activity, and Wednesday. So you can see every afternoon, um, watch the western sky, maybe not go hike in the afternoon or be ready to get sh shelter if you do get caught out and the hail's happening, but yep, it just keeps happening. So over the next three days, just kind of scooping in this week end or end of week storm, you can see some possible really good water amounts around Boulder, Denver and Longmont. That's over an inch. Um, then over the next five days, the southern part of the state gets more. And then over the next 10 days, if this verifies, much of the state gets one to even three inches of, of additional water. So yeah, say goodbye to drought conditions. I'm just taking a bigger picture of, for fun, taking a look at the entire west, except for the west coast itself and down to Mexico where those flaggers are, lots of rain is gonna be uh, adding up. Looking to our southeast and east, this is that super drought stricken area and there's inches and inches of rain expected to come down. So great news for the crops and the farmers and everybody else. Just for fun, there's a, our snow for the next 10 days, just the highest elevations. So we start out right around 80 on Wednesday. We cool down for the end of the week and see some good rain chances and thunderstorms. We get a little above normal going through the weekend and into next week we're above normal again with increasing chances as we saw the more organized system on Tuesday. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader have lots of great local news and I update the weather as needed there, which is sometimes pretty often when things are changing quickly. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.